What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, in this box right here, we have some fishing pole rod holders for the Bronco from x Rack USA because I love to fish. But not just any fishing pole rod holders. The one I went with mount to the uh, trail marker here on the front of the Bronco, but the one question I have is are the uh, limb risers here from Buckle Up Bronco gonna get in the way? I sure hope not because I think they look really cool and I don't want to choose between these and those. So several companies make fishing pole holder rack things for the Bronco. I went with these because these were my favorite, look to be my favorite. Besides these racks, X-Rack also makes a bunch of stuff for Teslas. They make a bunch of fishing accessories, Jeep accessories, uh, storage, bags, front racks, rear racks. For the Bronco specifically, it's front racks, it's rear racks, it's spare tire racks. All sorts of stuff that I truly, truly need for my Bronco. So you can either choose to buy these as a single or as a double, however you want to buy them. If your math sucks, if you buy two singles, that's two poles. If you buy two doubles, that's four poles. If you buy one, if you buy one single, it's probably gonna look funny and people are gonna make fun of you, so I suggest you get two of them. Um, it comes with these little black plastic inserts that you slide inside of the body to help keep the fishing pole in place. The body itself is a metal aluminum body. It seems to have some sort of, I'm gonna guess powder coat finish, but it has a nice black finish to it. And the other thing it comes with is these uh, tie downs. So if you're driving on the interstate, you definitely wanna use the tie downs because you wouldn't want your poles to go flying out of the racks through the air like a kite and hit the Jeep behind you that would just be very, very sad. 17 days until spring. I can't wait. Today's the first day. It's over 50 degrees in Rhode Island and that is beautiful. Anyway, on the front here, it also has this rod locking arm bar. And I know that sounds like a bad 80s wrestling move or something, but you slide the bar out of the way, you put the uh, pole in, you slide the, the bar back and it allows you to put a lock right there and hopefully make it a little harder for some scumbag to to steal your fishing pole. The other thing I liked about these and the reasons I went with these besides being made in America, you can also still open the hood with them on, which I thought was dope. The install here should be super, super easy. Hopefully I didn't just curse myself. The first two things, you're gonna take out the two screws in the trail marker. Again, yours will be different because you probably won't have the uh, limb riser from Buttle Up, Buckle Up, buck Buttercup. But let's take these two screws out. Now the screws that came with the uh, rod holder are a little bit longer than the buckle up Bronco screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those and hopefully this all fits together perfectly. Let's see if we can get these lined up here. So it looks like the screws were just, just barely long enough. I will very likely go back and get some Loctite, uh, non-permanent. Actually, the screws are pretty good, but I'll probably still go back, get some non-permanent Loctite and really lock these down good because I don't want my fishing poles to go flying. Installing the double rod holders is pretty much the same process. We're just gonna screw the second one in, but I'm not gonna do it until after I get this mounted. I think it'll be easy to get this mounted and then screw in the double, just my thought. So these things are not cheap, but I do think they are very nice and they are worth the cost, especially being they're aluminum and they are made in the States and not imported from overseas. That to me justifies the price. The single one like you see here is $80. The double one that we have over there is $140. Now I need to decide, do I want to do singles or doubles? I planned on doing a single, but the double looks really cool. So I don't know. Anyway, because x Rack USA loves me so much, I'm like their idol. <laughs> Not really. They passed on a discount code for you boys and girls. You get 10% off anything on the X-Rac uh, website when you use my code. The link and the code are down in the video description. The code is Tiberius. That's my name, Tiberius. I know, pretty down cool, isn't it? Just make sure you spell it right because my parents spell it different than every other Tiberius in the world, all five of us. Anyway, code and, uh, and link is down in the video description and I just had a great idea. Let's go fish. Yep, 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 yep. 
So they look cool. I like them a lot. They held the they held the rods fine on a very very short ride down to the beach. I'm lucky that I live right near the beach. We'll see how the long-term durability is. Obviously, we don't know that yet. Feel free to check in with me down the road if you want to see how they're holding up. But so far, so good. Then remind you of the link down. You know where. The discount code Tiberius save you 10%. I make a few bucks. X Rack gets a sale. Everyone's happy now. I need to beg, pop, borrow, bleed, and threaten you <laughs> for a subscription. If you don't subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna put this old school voodoo curse on you and you will never catch another fish as long as you live. I'm telling you, that's, my grandma taught it to me, it's real. You're gonna do it. Or you'll never catch another fish. <laughs>